This is the patient education app that I use at work. It's called the DDSGP app for the iPad. It can also be used on the iPhone or the I, uh, iPod Touch. But it's much better on the iPad just because of the size and other features you can use. This right here, I have my it's the iPad 1. Um, all you really need is the most basic iPad out there to use this app for. You don't have to buy the expensive version. So you can get a basic iPad for like 500 bucks. The app itself is 400 bucks for the basic setup. They offer an additional uh, feature that's 100 bucks. It's basically audio commentary to help you explain the procedures better. I don't have that feature. So I'm just going to open up the, uh, the app and kind of go through it so you guys can kind of see how it looks. So I'm just going to open it up here. And the first thing that pops up is just the main menu. just kind of gives you basic instructions how to use the app. On the left so side here you have all the basic categories. It pretty much covers everything. Um, here you see the yes with Paul. I think that's pronounced homily. That's the added feature, that commentary feature that I don't have. So I'm just going to go through a couple of the things here. Um, as a hygienist, I use the Perio section the most. So I just click on that. And I do click on the Perio disease a lot <clears throat> to explain to the patient what's going on and basically what you know the probing means. I think a lot of patients don't really get what's going on or what the fours and fives and sixes mean. So the nice thing about this, there's a couple of ways you can go through the animation on this thing. You can just hit play and it'll just go through the whole animation. And you can see how the probe is dropping and it's showing the progression of disease, which I, I like that. <clears throat> the other way is you can just slide this thing back and forth, which is kind of nice too. So you can stop it and explain what's going on. Or you can just kind of tap this arrow and just kind of move it along this way. The other nice feature is you can draw on the iPad version. So if you want to point things out, let me just erase that. You can erase it. Take that. I often explain to the patient that you know they have ligaments that go all the way around like this. And I'll erase that. And you can change the line thickness with this stuff too. You can also show them pictures. There's a couple of stock photos in each category that you can show, like just some serious perio going on there, the x ray. And you can also add your own photos. I haven't done that yet, but I might add some in the near future. Um, so let me just show you a couple of other ones. Uh, I'll go the show you the sealant one. I use that quite a bit too. So I just move this along. It just kind of shows the etch, rinsing, and applying the sealant and cure. Of course, there's a couple of steps. It doesn't show. I usually prep the tooth and so on, but it gives the patient a decent idea of what's going on. The visuals on this app are pretty good. I, I, I would say the only probably negative about it is some are probably too simplistic. But I think it's, for the most part, that's kind of good in a way from the patient's perspective. Because I think a lot of us, including myself, have a tendency to get into too much detail. And maybe confuse the patient sometimes. So it's kind of good that it's, in a, you know, overall that it's, somewhat simplistic. So I just go through a couple other ones. I'll show you like a basic filling. Uh, I show amalgam. And I just kind of go through it. Just kind of shows a prep and then the amalgam placed. Very simplistic but kind of gets the point across. It's one here for air abrasion. Just shows it prepping the tooth. Um, I'll show a crown. I'll do a serrate crown. It just shows you know you how you prep the tooth, do a build up, and place the crown. Very simplistic, but again from the patient's perspective, it's it works. Uh, let's see. I'll go back to the perio again. Show you one. Let's see. <clears throat> Surgical gingivectomy. Go through that. You know, again very basic, but gets the point across. And this one has a couple of photos which. Show somebody an ortho, which is a common reason to do a gingivectomy. And it's other ones here too. We got 
Uh, th I mean, there's a bunch. I'm not going to go through all of them, but I just kind of give you an idea of how it looks. You got laser decay removal, cervical. It just try to shows it removing decay and then filling goes over it. <clears throat> so there's a, you know, there's a bunch of stuff there you can see. The other feature on this app is you can do a treatment plan and you can add things to a treatment plan and you can actually email it to the patient. I never use that myself. I have, um, I don't have Wi-Fi in my office so I can't use the email feature to email out to somebody. Um, and I also don't have the, <clears throat> the 3G version. I have a relatively basic, I have the 64, whatever it is, gig uh, iPad. So mine was a little more expensive but but for this app, all you need is the basic $500 iPad. <clears throat> so for 400 bucks for the app and the iPad for 500 bucks, the cost of the app is a lifetime uh, cost. There's no monthly fees. There's lifetime uh, updates. Uh, so for the price, it's really good uh, compared to other patient education um, you know, software out there. And the nice thing about the iPad and this particular app is I like the idea that you can sit with the patient and not just play a video and just kind of walk away or just watch the video with the patient or something. You're actually interacting with the patient. You can draw on the thing or whatever. And uh, I think it works well in that aspect. I see a lot of Medicaid patients in my office and I actually have a decent amount it's still low but you know overall it's I think it's pretty good the amount of Medicaid patients that I get to actually pay out of pocket for SRP and I think I don't have concrete metrics to show um, that the app is selling the treatment but I have no doubt that it is at least to some extent um, because when I do show that perio thing, you know, the perio visual. I've, I watch the kind of, you know, watch the patient's face and I think when they see this and they really understand what's going on and I tend not to use words like tartar and plaque. I, I like to use the words disease and infection and, you know, eating away at the bone and that kind of, not to scare the patient, but just to be real with the patient, I think, because I think a lot of people you say, oh, I got a little bleeding or whatever. And I think patients is, have been hearing that for so long that they think it's it's normal stuff. But anyway, I've been using the app for you know a couple of months. For the price, it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Right now, it's only available for the Apple products, and it might stay that way. But it's worth buying the iPad just for this. I tend to keep my iPad at the office pretty much. I use my iPhone for everything else, and. I'll sometimes bring it home on the weekends just to use it for personal reasons, but for the most part, it stays in the office. So I give it a big thumbs up and great app. Thanks.